welcome this is the energy vibration lesson for old sun moon and rising um, Virgo people I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back please like share these videos and thumbs up uh, remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign but also to the month of May reading and also to the Sun moon and rising sign listen also to the general readings because there is also a connection with general readings with your readings this is the first week of May 2017 and the week begins with a water week from the energy vibration of the lovers and the week is from the 1st of May until the 7th of May and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being understanding for all the noise in the videos and that sort of a thing I want to say to each and every person I am so um, you know with the, the energy vibration of the week of love this is good because the zodiac energy vibration is the harder element the harder element and this is good your focus in this week um try and work this in the reverse form because you have the six of swords the six of swords is science in this card deck and science is uh, um um people who work on the negative energy who manipulate uh, the, the negative energy is to use it to, as an empowerment for themselves because you have people who are enlightened toward the light and you have people who are enlightened toward the sense of science which is working with negative energies okay so be aware of this um, turn this energy around and try and heal this energy because you're an earth sign person so you have the power to heal this energy as we look at your week I am so so um, loving your week there is the sense of the Pentacles the Queen of Pentacles yourself is in your reading Tuesday is going to be one of your very very best days and Tuesday and Saturday what I love about um, um, Friday is that it is the end it is the end of a situation that has been happening in your life okay so the burden is coming to an end and Saturday the prudence the um, number eight energy um, the eight energy the prudence um, the energy vibration of the eye princess comes up on Sunday which is very very important okay it's extremely important um, the 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 sense of uh, um you know there is a focus here and I'm not sure if everyone was seeing it is is the the queen of swords and she is in reverse so think about it people whoever um know someone who is the queen of swords the queen of swords is uh, an um, Gemini Aquarius or a, a Libran person she is in reverse so whatever was happening she is in reverse this she is in reverse and I am driven to look at the energy your focus of the six of swords the science card there is something there has been something that is happening if she was the one who is dabbling in negative energy or whatever it is but she is in reverse I don't know I'm supposed to I'm really supposed to show you this there is something for someone there's a message out there for someone and think who could be this queen of sword because she is in reverse whatever she was doing whatever she was playing with whatever she was dabbling in she is in reverse so you know there's a lot of times that reading comes up and certain things and certain aspect of a reading comes up and I needed to show someone out there that okay the number eight eight energy so for you guys you have 88 you have 88 8 and 8 the number 8 energy is here and Monday and your best day as, as I will say your best day again it's going to be it's all about um, you finding yourself you balancing out certain things but yet still you're protecting yourself on Monday you have the energy of eight of um, sword the eight of sword is always uh, 
not seeing something clearly, being blocked door negative energies and negative people uh, in this card set because this card set is a beautiful card set. And why is this so? It is the sun and moon, and it's, it's as if he, he, everyone that designed a card set has the energy vibration of these entities and beams who help them um, to give the pictures, but yet still the wording of certain things. This I use for the year reading, which is so powerful. It was the most powerful um, reading that I've ever given for the year. And this energy of the Eight of Swords is the energy where there's in interference, where there's interference from out the spirit world or the darkness. Okay, because the Six of uh, the Six of Sword is the energy of science, and I'm going to read something that is um, important because. Uh, um, cruelty. I remember the Nine of Science is cruelty. Here, the Eight of Swords, influence, Jupiter in Gemini, Gemini respect for intellectual endeavors, more um, possible than you realize, bringing choices together, a double-minded, which may be overanalyzing, obstacles, um, um, stagnations, and hesitation, unrealistic, or misleading information so you know I've been pushed to read this this is because you have this energy that came up so be aware of people coming to you with misleading information be aware of this Queen of Swords coming to you with misleading information on a Monday as we move on to Tuesday we have the energy vibration of the Queen of Pentacles. So on Tuesday, whatsoever is happening, you, the Queen of Pentacles, is going to master a lot of stuff. The energy vibration of you be in your reading, you are bringing stability. You are seeing through um, something that you um, weren't seeing good. And um, you are here, but you're spiritually protected by... Um, the beams, the universal beams, because you're an earth energy person. So whosoever is going to come to you on Monday and think that they can bring you information, misleading information, it's not going to be good. As we uh, move on forward to the middle of the week, I need to do my nails. Um, we have the energy vibration of the seven of ones. So on Wednesday, you will be protecting yourself. You will be protecting yourself from something that is... Uh, from lower energy because remember you're battling with the six of swords so on wednesday ask archangel michael to protect you and all the protective angels to come up and it's going to be something that has to do with work it's something you're protecting yourself from people who you have worked with and that sort of a situation so be aware of this sort of a situation as we look on Thursday, we have the energy of the Five of Cups in reverse. So on Thursday, you're realizing that it was the best possible um, um, decision you have uh, you have made. You know, on Thursday, you're you have no more regrets on Thursday because you're realizing that whatever decision you made the week before, it was the best possible um, um, you know decision you made. And this is good as we move on and we go forward on Friday it is an end of a burden a burden that you have been carrying a situation that was not vibrating at the higher energy vibration and you know within your heart and this situation has to do with work it's as if some people were in a situation in a position of work and it was a burden for you and it was something that you had to do but you know you had to do it but now on Friday you realize oh my god I'm so glad that that is over or I'm so glad that I've made this decision and it is a wonderful because now your life is going to start going and on Saturday you have prudency the eight of Pentacles and eight of Pentacles mean whatsoever you're working on is going to bring you to a higher energy vibration and it's going to let you vibrate nothing but powerful powerful energies and this situation is going to bring you 
a possibility of wonderful um, situation that is going to happen to you so be aware of this as we go forward on Sunday you have the energy of the eye princess is a time when your intuition becomes extremely high and this energy vibration whenever this card set as I've said this card set has a more powerful cosmetic it, it connects with the universal angels and the, the you know all the cards but there are different cards for different deities and these are just tools that we use to communicate the information that the the, the different sort of a deities which is angels and guides and spirit guides and ascendance masters and so wants to use at each and what each card set has its own energy vibration and its own deity that comes through the eye princess comes up on Sunday and this is going to be extremely good so be aware of this because when the eye princess comes up it's always a uh, your um, the, the people from out the spirit world that is connecting with you and giving you information and letting you see things and being clear about certain things and opening up and looking at certain things in your life because they are seeing that you are not seeing certain things that is happening and they want to you to be aware and be connected as we look at your week you're protecting this week is a week where you are protecting yourself from um, as a sort of energy that is coming from your work and a sort of energy that is coming from people who are so jealous of of you um, being so good at what you do okay so with the energy vibration of the Queen of Pentacles is always a stable and balanced person money is not going to be a problem whatever you're doing wherever you are in your life if you're studying you're going to um, pass your exam if you are um, looking for a job the doors and opportunities are going to be open and for the earth sign people um, may the, the end of May is going to be one of the best time the two first week should be the best time for you out earth sign people okay so realize where you are on your journey because the and the zodiac energy vibration is of the earth sign so the two first week before changing of the guard so try and manifest this situation in your life and try and understand how powerful it is for you to do that okay as we move on we have the energy vibration of um, the five of cups and the five of cups and the eye princess and the five of cups and the eye princess and there's a burden that you have carried there's a burden that you have carried and your intuition and uh, your spirit guides are going to um, release you from that burden and you're no more going to look back see the five of cups you're no more going to look back so your spirit guides and angels are going to come in and they are going to release this burden from you and you will no more look back on whatsoever has transpired because you know sometimes people 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 are I, I, I realize how brutally um, you know I'm trying to say not sick people are but they they, they are people people are really it's sad it's, it's sad that people can be extremely sick and brutal to or towards how they treat other people and think that they have the power in their hands and when and, and why most of them think that they have the power in their hands is because they know they're dabbling in science science and by dabbling in science that's when you know you have the power over someone else so be aware of this and trust me people you don't need to be dabbling in science okay all you need to do is know that there's source creator and know that uh, with the power of source creator to release you from whatever it is uh, he will he will if you just ask he will and I want to say to each and every person namaste have a wonderful week and I'm <laughs>